The mountain. When I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, yep. I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, nice. the big lake didn't look big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Take there'll be none left, please. I said. Just one. I ate another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look at the top. There's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy, so pleased, and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. One more step and there's not many more. Go for it, Tig. It feels great to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were here. Waiting. When I was little, I didn't like waiting. I didn't like waiting for Mummy to finish her work. I didn't like waiting for Daddy to come home. Wooly didn't like waiting either. One day, I was waiting for the rain to right. go away. He'll be all day waiting for the rain to stop. Should we go and bake a cake instead? Come on, Why then. don't we bake Come a on, cake instead? Said Daddy. 
Right. We washed our hands and put on our aprons. I put everything on the table. Bowls, sugar, oil, eggs, oranges and raisins. Oh, said Daddy. Carrots. Mustn't forget the carrots. Carrots for a cake. I said. Just you wait and see, Tig. Wait and see, said Daddy. Mmm, I thought. I like my carrots with my potatoes. Thank you. Daddy chopped the carrots. And I grated them in a special machine. Daddy grated orange skin. All of it? We tipped sugar into a bowl. Daddy poured sticky oil all over the sugar. Slop went the carrots and oranges. Yuck! Whoa. We broke eggs all over the yuck. I sprinkled raisins. What, do another one? I mixed up the mush. Yes. Nothing looks like anything. Is this a cake? I said, just wait and see, said Daddy. Flump. I dumped some flour and I stirred everything together. I like making cakes. Daddy had a tin with paper. We put the mush into the tin. Into the oven went the tin. Say bye bye to the cake. Bye bye, cake. Now to wait, said Daddy. Let's see, see the clock up there. So when the big hand gets to 12, it's ready, okay? And now we just have to wait for the cake to bake. How, how long? Can I see the cake now? I said, we not yet, Tig. We have right, to wait. Nothing was happening. I didn't like waiting. Hey, Tig, waiting for things to happen can be very tiring and dull and yawning. <sighs> Waiting for things to happen can be angry-making, too. Grrr! The trouble with waiting for things to happen is that some things just don't seem to happen at all. The time just seems to stop. Tick, tock, tick, tock. But if you want the time to move and things to happen again, then don't sit and wait. Do something else. Have fun and think about other things. And when you're having fun and thinking about other things, things will start happening. So go for it, Tig. Why not have fun and help Daddy clean the kitchen? Then that cake will be baked in no time. Yes, I thought. No use sitting and waiting. I'll do something else. Daddy, can I help you clean up? I helped Daddy do the washing up. Okay. Then it was time to take the cake out of the oven. Wow. How lovely does it look? Mmm. Right, we, we waited again the for the cake right, to cool. We Willie played hide and seek with Daddy. Oh, oh, it's a spider. Ah, oh, you got me. It's a little spider. Then we ate the carrot cake. It didn't need potatoes. Mm. I don't mind waiting for some things. I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. My favourite dinosaur. When I was little, I liked dinosaurs. I had some toy dinosaurs. I had a stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. I had a tyrannosaurus. Rhinus, Rhinus, Rex. And a triceratops. Triceratops. But my favourite dinosaur of all is my Diplodocus. Diplodocus. Willie really liked my Diplodocus too. I played with my dinosaurs a lot. Rawr. At nursery school, I painted a big, big Diplodocus. I gave my Diplodocus lots of leaves to eat. My friend Louise liked dinosaurs too. Her favourite dinosaur was Tyrannosaurus. We played Tyrannosaurus games. One day Mummy said, 
What's your favourite dinosaur tick? Diplodocus. Well, said Mummy, Grandad is going to take you to see a real Diplodocus. A real one? I was frightened. It's in a museum. It's millions of years old, so it's just bones. Okay, just bones. Just bones didn't sound very exciting, but I wanted to see Grandad. We went to see Grandad and the Diplodocus at a museum. Grandad was waiting. I love my granddad. Let's get up these big steps. The dinosaur jumps up. Let's go inside and see a real Diplodocus dinosaur, said Grandad. Wow. Oh uh, no. There was a dinosaur. There was a Diplodocus. It was real. It was big. It was bigger than me. It was too big. I was scared. What do you think, Tig? A real Diplodocus? Come on, Tig. Let's go and look at something smaller first. Come on, Tig, said Mummy. Maybe we should look at something smaller. Mummy took me to a room full of bones. Mummy looked at the bones. I was scared. There was no roaring. But what if the Diplodocus sat on Grandad? Hey, Tig. Big, strange things are scary. But this big, strange Diplodocus dinosaur is just a lot of old bones. Just a lot of old bones like these ones, only much bigger. A lot of old bones strung together to show what a Diplodocus looked like millions of years ago. So this Diplodocus dinosaur won't stomp or roar or sit on Grandad. This Diplodocus is just for you to look at. So now you know that the scary Diplodocus dinosaur is just a load of old bones. There's no need to be scared anymore. Go for it, Tig. Have another look at your favourite dinosaur. Yes, I thought. I want to look at my favourite dinosaur again. I crept up in Grandad. I was pleased he hadn't been sat on. Just you! I thought it was a dinosaur come to life. <laughs> Grandad and me looked around the big, big dinosaur. Roar. It was just old bones. When I showed Wooly to the Diplodocus, it looked a little scared. Don't stomp away, I said. He's only my toy spider. I like Diplodocus. It's my favourite dinosaur. But I love Willy. We've been getting since we were here. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket. And you'll see and you'll get a really good view. Willy came too. The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. A cabbage, potatoes, tomatoes, onions, a melon, a big melon, that's a heavy one, oh. apples, oranges, bananas, I'll pop them in the back there, grapefruit, two, two. yeah let's get two, and a pineapple, the pink one, the pink ones, I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to Stay do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. <laughs> <laughs> Can you manage? I helped Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. 
Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves. I looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves. And some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot. Here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <gasps> Tag. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got a toy spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie. We've been together since we were three. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Well, we came too. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, okay. Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said bye. thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long I ran in front of him. Take, said Daddy. Wait your turn. A uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Take, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tank, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was us. We're, we're just coming. 
Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Willie. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you press the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my Daddy. I said sorry to Daddy. Sorry, Dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open sesame. <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. I love Willy and Willy loves me. We've been together since we were wee.